Good morning, Mom Petit, and welcome back to the Moving Vlogs. What episode are we on now? Five, potentially six? I feel like it has been a journey already. It has been quite the process to get to this point, but we've been in the house a good few days now, and it really is starting to feel like home. I won't lie, I could took a couple of days off from vlogging because I just wanted to blitz the unpacking. I feel like unpacking is, al is almost more tedious than packing because at least with packing, you can take your time a little bit more. You can kind of go a little bit slowly. Like I started packing almost a month before we actually moved, whereas I just want to get the house sorted. I want it to feel like home. I also want to know where everything is. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're doing a slick back bun today because the hair has not been washed in a few days and way TMI, I could not find any razors. I've not shaved in days. So those are boxes that I definitely want to find and I definitely want to get unpacked. But the kitchen really is feeling like home now. I'm so glad I took your guys' advice and just focused on the bedroom and focused on the kitchen because these two spaces are literally the spaces we are living in at the moment. They really, really feel like home now. I've also managed to organize the utility, which I don't know if you can hear it don't think you can. I actually have a wash on. And this is quite a momentous moment for me because in our old house, you would have been able to see the washing machine in almost every photo I took. Like I loved our kitchen. I hated how obvious the washing machine was. It wasn't hidden in a cupboard, like it wasn't hidden away. And I wasn't able to vlog when the washing machine was on because it's so loud. So I know this is like such a first world problem, but I struggled so much. And I know this is just gonna sound like such a silly problem, but I struggled so much to put washers on because I would get very overstimulated by the noise in the evening if we were like chilling out, having dinner, watching TV, but I wasn't able to put it on during the day because I'd want to vlog. So it's really difficult trying to like time our washers now. I have a utility room, which is beautifully organized with a brand spanking new washing machine and tumble dryer in from John Lewis. They got delivered yesterday, put my first wash on last night and I feel like I'm living my best life. You know, you have reached peak adulthood when the highlight of your day is the fact that your washing machine door opens one way and your tumble dryer door opens the other way. So it means you can open them both at the same time and just chuck clothes from one into another. That is big adulthood, in my opinion. So I've got a wash on at the moment. The kitchen is looking lovely and fresh and it really is starting to feel like home now. I've even started on the living room and although there's gonna be a lot of tweaks and a lot of changes that are gonna be made, I feel like we are really getting there with regards to making this house our home. So let me show you a few of the updates that have been going on. I'm well aware that you have seen this view already, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it is just my absolute favorite view in the entire world. I've had so many comments about this range cooker. We have finally managed to work out how to use, I think 90% of it. It's so different to anything that we'd had before. And quite a lot of you actually said that maybe like your grandparents or like aunties and uncles used to have things like this. I just think it's absolutely amazing. It really was what sold us this house. I've started trying to style up these um, shelves. It's very difficult because only very thin wine bottles seem to fit. So all of the lovely bottles of bubbly that we've been given it from our our friends and family aren't fitting in there at the moment, um, but we got a lovely Brut Rosé. I think I showed you this one before as well, which we do need to refrigerate and pop actually as a bit of a celebration. But to tell you the truth, our evenings at the moment have just been completely taken up with unpacking, organizing and sorting. But um, yeah, it's making me so, so happy. This view and the fact that this kitchen really is our home now. I've also even started decorating on the sides a little bit. You know, it's such a good trick. If you have a lot of like plug sockets, that you want to hide just chopping boards chopping boards everywhere all over the sides although I do love the tiling I just think it's so country kitchen-esque I'm absolutely loving it I've got some like um kitchen books out some recipe books and of course my Ellie's kitchen little recipe holder I do absolutely love this sometimes I just want to leave it blank because I think it looks so so lovely although anyone that's an OG knows it's not really Ellie's kitchen it's Alex's kitchen he is a much better chef than I am but I've got my little Amazon lamps out which I always get questions about these are little touch lamps they're rechargeable and they are so handy so you can just move them about the house which let me tell you on the first couple of days was really really handy because not all of the lights had light bulbs we've got dimmer switches here and a lot of the bulbs that were in them from like the people that lived here before didn't seem to be dimmer um compatible because they kept flickering so we just put loads of lamps out and we were like we're just going to really embrace the vibe i've also got my favorite h&m bars out which psa this is back 
every time you guys see this i always get questions about it it's the most beautiful vase from h&m home i literally love it because it looks so much more expensive than it is i got it about three years ago and they brought it back a couple of times since but i wasn't expecting it to come back again it is now back in stock so i will leave it linked down below if it's still available i wouldn't be surprised if it goes super super quickly so run don't walk to pick this up but yeah i'm really loving the decor in here and as i said it's really starting to feel like home oh my goodness i've just come to show you the dining area and look at the light that is just streaming through the kitchen the sunlight that we get in this house is just to die for but this is an area that i am loving for the moment i'm loving for the time being but is definitely going to have to change unfortunately this table just doesn't work in this house as i've said there's a lot that i feel like doesn't work with the house we've gotten rid of the shelves that we did have put there they've gone upstairs to alex's office which actually they work really really well for office shelves i do love being able to like recycle furniture use it in different ways but we just knew immediately and as soon as we put it in it just didn't work with this house everything for this house needs to be more antique it needs to be more farmhousey more countryside and a lot of our old furniture was a bit more modern this table included now unfortunately what i really wanted to do was have it as more of like a little breakfast nook here inside the kitchen but it's just too big it doesn't quite go through the doors and it doesn't quite fit in the kitchen and i also feel like it doesn't quite work out here because the shape is almost a little bit too small i'd love to get like a long rectangular kind of bench style seating area here i think would be so so lovely for like a really big dining area and then we can have like a little breakfast nook in there i do love the circle i love that it kind of looks like more of like a breakfasty vibe but it just needs a bit, a bit smaller so any recommendations do let me know because i've had a look online and they all seem to be four seaters i think you need more of like a two seater with a um, where it's kind of got the middle section rather than four legs I think would be the vibe that we are going for but for now I really really like this area and this table has lasted us a really really long time we actually got this not even the flat that you guys would have seen our flat that we had before then it was our first flat that we got coming out of university we were honestly just like the youngest broker students ever and we did not have a lot of money and this was such an exciting purchase for us this was such a huge investment which actually I would say has paid off we have got our cost per use out of this table because it has come with us on four moves and you would have seen it in the old house it was like um elongated it's extendable so it's more of like an oval shape but here i'm just liking it kind of tucked away at the moment just for now um and i've just started up with some baskets and of course we've also styled up our clock this is a clock that again has been with us since that first flat and i always get questions about this this was actually a home sense find and i love it because i feel like the vibe of it has just gone in every single property we've had like every single flat and every single house that we've lived in i love the kind of like vintagey vibe of it and i think it looks so so nice on the walls i feel like this is what we wanted to focus on is kind of like getting things on the walls and getting things styled up a little bit even if we know it's going to change just having it styled and having it feeling more like a home is so important um so you know me we've got to have faux flowers all over the house i love having like baskets with coasters that you can just like grab things on so like a few just little stylized areas is what is really really important even if it's going to change eventually it's nice to see it in situ for the time being another little area that i am loving and obviously it had to be a priority is my Ellie Nook. If you've been around for a long time, you'll know about my Ellie Nooks. I am someone that I don't really like sitting at a desk. I don't really like working with like big computers and monitors and stuff like that. I just need my laptop on my lap and I just need to curl up somewhere. This is where I like to do emails. This is where I like to have my morning coffee. This is where I like to check Instagram and edit TikToks and things like that. Just a nice little corner nook is all that I need. And as soon as I saw the space, I was like, yes, that is gonna be my new nook. So of course we've put our Highland Q print on the wall or Helen Koo um painting which I absolutely love our um movers did compliment that they were like that is so interesting like I've never seen anyone with a painting like this this is another home sense find honestly home sense is just my bread and butter because you just find such unique gorgeous pieces and I love this I also love how it looks with the wall color now, when we actually went to get to the house painted, I said to the decorators, look, just whitewash it. We don't really know what colors we want to go for. And they, they were so great. They said, no, do not whitewash it because it will literally feel like a hospital ward. They recommended a few different like neutral tones, neutral colors, and we chose natural hessian. And I'm so glad that we did because it actually looks different in every single room. We've got it all over the house and it looks different in our bedroom, looks different in the kitchen, looks different in the living room. And I love how it looks next to the white. So the white skirting, the white paneling, 
I just think it's so it's so beautiful and I feel like all of the prints and all of the artwork that we're putting up at the moment it's like it was meant to be you can really tell our style because it just all matches so beautifully with the color on the walls so natural hessian up by Dulux I am loving and I just think it looks so so gorgeous with our new Highland Q now one thing I do think needs to change about this area is this table I feel like again it's just a bit too modern I love the style of it and I would love this exact table but in just like a wooden version I think would be great it might be nice to get like a little rug on the floor because obviously these old floorboards are drafty let me tell you anyone that lives in an old house is probably going to be nodding away right now old floorboards are the draftiest things in the world luckily we're heading into spring though so hopefully we shouldn't have to worry too much about the heating of them but yeah another little footstool from home sense and then this is a little chair from dunelm which is just the comfiest little chair nook that i have ever ever found so another area that i am just absolutely loving and i feel like it's just really pulling the whole house in together well i think we can all agree that this has arrived in perfect timing speaking of styling up the house faux flowers and just making it feel a little bit more like home i have just had the most exciting delivery i have been looking forward to this arriving for so so long i've even just taken a little sneaky peek just to double check that it is what i thought it was and this is a super exciting delivery from Florist Unique Decor. Now, Florist Unique Decor does the most beautiful fresh and artificial flowers for your home. And she has so, so kindly sent me over a few bits to style up the new house, which is so, so lovely of her. So I'll leave her Instagram and her website linked down below because the flowers that she creates are stunning. And I am someone that is a big believer in faux flowers because as much as I love fresh flowers, the maintenance and the cost of them is really difficult and not the most effective i feel like faux flowers are actually a bit more of an investment because obviously you can switch them around the house you can switch them up depending on the season like you don't have to keep the same flowers all throughout the house i actually have so many faux flower arrangements that i will like switch up depending on the seasons and as we are heading into spring particularly with the new house I'm so excited to get these out and get styling. Oh my gosh, the first thing that she has sent over, and this just feels so special because the way that she has done it literally feels like a real bouquet, which is just the loveliest thing in the world, but it's the most beautiful faux flower arrangement I have ever seen. It is so perfect for spring. We've got in here what looks like some rhododendrons, which I absolutely adore. These, I'm not entirely sure what they are. They kind of look like sweet peas, some gorgeous foliage as well. I cannot Way to get stunning i'm feeling like this might look really good in the kitchen because i do need to add a little bit more life in there and a little bit more foliage but you can obviously just kind of like move around the twigs move around the branches like change up the shape a little bit that's what i love about flower arrangements is that you can really get creative with regards to the actual arrangement with like the height of things i just think that is so so beautiful oh my goodness me look at the little bow on it as well the little sash oh this is stunning oh my goodness me this next box has just got most lovely pieces in first up we have got a pillar candlestick and a pillar candle and this just matches the vibe of this house so so well i can't get over how beautiful that is it's vintagey it's old it's even got these like speckles on it can you see that so it looks so rustic and beautiful it's actually really lightweight as well though so it's not one that i'd be like worried about damaging which is really really nice and just the pillar candle on top i love a pillar candle i feel like it's just so atmospheric you know in the evening especially because we haven't got a log burner yet it's something that we'd love to look at doing but for now obviously i need to kind of like put things in place that maybe mimic that i just think it's so cozy so i might put it down actually by the fireplace might look really really cute but that is so beautiful and then the piece de resistance just beautiful spring wreath i have ever laid my eyes on oh my god look at how stunning this is and of course it matches the beautiful bouquet so you can like style them up together if you wanted to you could put them in the same room which i think is so so lovely but look at how stunning this is i want to put it on the front door but i almost don't because i feel like i'm not going to get to be able to see it as much i feel like everyone else will get to see it but i don't so i think somewhere inside the house is where this needs to go but how stunning is that again we've got the rhododendrons these are absolutely beautiful and i just love how like twiggy it is i feel like it's just the perfect spring statement piece this is beautiful if you're someone that you love a seasonal read which 
I definitely think this house calls for seasonal wreaths. It is also something you can use multifunctional if you wanted to. You can actually use it as more of like a circular ornament to put with your candle around, which I really like. That does make a really lovely centerpiece on your table. And considering that we've got a round table, that might look really, really lovely, but I think I wanna put it up on a door because I just think a wreath like this deserves its moment. It deserves its spotlight. It is so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness me. So I will leave Florist Unique Decor linked down below because her pieces are absolutely stunning if you're looking at updating your home with some gorgeous new faux artificial flowers. Definitely check her out. I am so excited about these. I can't wait to put them up. Oh my gosh, I think we're actually going to need a little bit of a vote because I'm really undecided what to do with this wreath because this looks gorgeous. I wasn't expecting to want to put it on the table. I thought I would just try it out and see what it looked like, but I was thinking I'm definitely going to put it on a wall or on a door. And actually, especially because this is a round table, this looks really cute. I absolutely love that as a centerpiece. I feel like it's just such a beautiful like spring centerpiece. Maybe I should get like a little runner to put out on the table as well. So I'm not sure. Do we put it on a door? Do we put it on a wall? Or do I leave it as the beautiful centerpiece? centerpiece with the pillar candle because I do love how that looks. Alternatively, do I put it up on a door? Because I do think an interior door, I would just get a lot more use out of it. I'd be able to see it a little bit more and I might enjoy it a bit more. So we're going to have to vote down below. Do I use it as a centerpiece or do I use it on a door? Oh, okay. We have a third option. What do we think about using it in the fireplace as a bit of a focal point? As I said, we don't have a working fireplace at the moment, which we will change eventually. But for the time being, I kind of love it in there. I think that's really cute. And because the fireplace isn't properly blocked up, I could still light this candle. So that might be quite a cute option. So let me know what is our favorite option one, option two, or option three. I think I might be leaning towards option three's arrangement. However, I feel like it was an absolute no brain out just popped on at my little kind of French side table here and I love how it looks. It's so wild and wonderful. I feel like it just encompasses everything I love with regards to floral arrangements, with regards to the kind of like foliage that I like having in the house and it's a perfect size for this table. I've really struggled to find something actually for this table. I love how ditty it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I've just popped it in a little H&M at home vase and I love how it looks. How gorgeous is this space looking? Oh, it's just making me so, so happy. These are the little touches that I feel like really do just make a house a home. Oh my goodness, I'm literally having to squint right now in order to see the camera. This bedroom is just so bright. The light that comes in here, it's just amazing. But I've just come upstairs because there has been something that I've been so excited to unbox and to unpackage that I've literally had since Christmas that I have been waiting for the new house to get out. I actually got these as a Christmas present from my brother's girlfriend this year for Christmas with the intention of saving them from the new house. Now, if you're new around here, you may have kind of gathered by the Highland Coo print downstairs, but I have a little bit of an obsession with Highland cows. I absolutely love them. Highland Coos, which I always like to say, I love Highland Coos. I feel like Scotland's just such a special place for Alex and I, like it's where we got engaged, it's where a lot of our heritage comes from and we both absolutely adore them and I just think they are such cute animals. I love them so, so much. I got these little bath towels from my brother's girlfriend for Christmas. I think they're from Next, I believe. I might see if I can find them and link them down below. If you are also a Highland cow lover like me, I would definitely recommend checking out Next because they have like a full Hamish collection full of Highland cows, which you guys send me all the time whenever new things drop in that collection whether it's like doorstops cushions pillows i'll always get sent links from you guys which i just absolutely love you know me so so well but i wanted to put these up in our little ensuite which i'm not actually showing you inside our ensuite our bedroom is really coming together now it was the first room that we focused on at the day we moved in but we've even added like a few other touches like hooks for our dressing gown we've added like a mirror in the bathroom we've put the tv up in the wall we've also got the mirror behind us so it's really really nice and the fact that i've been saving these since christmas i'm so excited to put them up. To excuse the noise of the fan, I know I've not really shown you inside our ensuite because to be honest there's not really much to see. There's just a shower, a sink and a toilet which is again really giving the country farmhouse vibes but how cute does the little tower look there. I kind of love the fact that you just see like half a head of the Highland Cooks. If you didn't know you might just think it was like a cool little swirly pattern. Um, but yeah we put this mirror up yesterday which we literally, it took us ages to try and work out what height 
both of us can see so as you can see I can only just about see my head Alex is the opposite because he's so tall his head was literally here and he said that it cut off like the top part of his head but I was like you can't do it any higher because I cannot see myself at all but um yes we've just got a little mirror there we've got little toothbrush holders that we've put up the um towel rail that we've put up so this is really coming together nicely as well these door hooks were also actually a gift from my brother's girlfriend for Christmas she knows us so so well so I've put these up for our dressing gowns now if you know me you'll know I have many more dressing gowns I won't lie but I'm going to try and make sure that on the back of this door I only keep it to one each because otherwise it's just going to start getting far too messy um but we've got mine and Alex's dressing gowns there and I'm not going to lie to you this is probably one of the silliest things I've ever said but I kind of want to replace them so that they're matching it kind of upsets me that they're not matching and actually I do need a new dressing gown because as much as I love this I keep stealing Alex's because his is a lot longer as you can see so I feel like I'm just like a lot more cozy it's got a hood it's a bit softer this was actually just an M&S one I think um but it's the softest coziest thing ever I do love the khaki green if I could find this again I might just get this in my size and then we can have matching if not I'm thinking maybe white company or soho home bathrobes not bathrobes just like cozy dressing gown robes I think would be really really nice and then we can have little matchy matchy vibes on at the back of the door but I love the fact that we've got the E and the A there I just think it looks so so lovely because it also matches a lot of other things that we've got in our room like these little coasters and stuff um which I got from anthropology so I'm not sure where she got the um the hooks from but I absolutely love them I think they're so so beautiful and they really work on the back here so yeah loving how this room is coming it together as well I feel like it's all it's all coming together in the new house if you can even see my face so yeah I love how they look I just think it really adds a little bit of a detail means that we can have our cozy dressing gowns whenever we want to get up in the morning go and make ourselves a cup of tea because as I said this is a chilly old house so our cozy dressing gowns are going to be very well used here so yeah we've got the tv on the wall now just a few other things that i want to do with this room just to kind of really make it a home and kind of complete it like i think a radiator cover here would be nice i'm thinking about putting this mirror up on the wall um over here but yeah just look at the light that streams into this bedroom i'm also thinking about replacing these pillows for something a little bit more country farmhouse and maybe the throw as well but all in due course so yeah we've got the tv up on the wall now if ever we want to have cozy movie nights in bed whenever you're feeling ill as well i also like having a tv in your room is just so so nice you can just lay in bed and chill out so yeah there's a few other updates to do in here like i'd love a radiator cover things like that i'm also thinking about putting um this mirror up on the wall over in this corner which i think will look really really nice um but yeah just look at that light streaming in i can't get over what a bright house this is especially here in our bedroom i just love this room so so much well i have just come down to my favorite site and my favorite smell alex in the kitchen i'm not joking when i said that that um the little sign should definitely say alex's kitchen not ellie's kitchen but we're using the always pan we're cooking on the range i love how i say we a very royal we because alex is cooking away what do we think of the new always pan Ooh, it's amazing. <laughs> no, it is good. Yeah, like it? No, it is nice. It is a nice pan to cut, cut. Do you like the colour it chose, by the way? Yeah, I do, actually. What is it? Um, oh, I keep forgetting. I literally was linking it this morning. It's got a funny colour. It's not stone. It's something like shake or something like that. But anyway, I'll yeah. leave it linked down below for you guys if you do want to shop the Always Pan. Because I just feel like it's a very it. well thought out pan, to be honest. Well, yeah, it's literally for everything, isn't yeah. it? You've got a little handle for your spoon, so, you know, it's not top, no, nothing's like touching anything. I know, and you can still put the lid on stick. with the spoon there, which is what I love. Yeah. This isn't sponsored, by the way, guys. We're just literally, it was gifted as we moved into the new house, and it's, I'm obsessed. It's got a handle for leverage if you're cooking anything <laughs> heavy, like maybe a big, like, pot of stew or something, mm. I don't know. Yeah. And you've even got these, like, little lips, so if you're, like, having to pour anything that's quite saucy. Yeah, it's a good one. And as the person that does the cleaning, I can confirm it cleans well as well. So what are we having for dinner tonight, darling? Uh, just having a simple, somewhat of an oriental style chicken veggies and rice, really. Very nothing, nice. Nothing complicated. Oh, it smells amazing though. I'm so excited for dinner tonight. Tell me your fiancé should have been a gourmet chef without telling me your fiancé should have been a gourmet chef. How delicious does this look oh i can't wait to tuck in well good morning from what i think is safe to say my favorite spot in the house especially with my new faux flowers it is the next morning now 
and I'm currently just sitting in my little Ellie nook, just loving life. I've been answering some emails this morning, having my morning cup of tea, getting ready for the day. And I just love the fact that I can look out onto the living room, onto the house and just take stock. Basically, I love having a nook. I would definitely recommend if you have the space for it, if you've got like an empty little corner, you're not really sure what to do with it. Just a little chair, a little button back chair or something like that is perfect just to sit and be and answer emails and have a cup of tea. It is my absolute favorite. I've actually this morning I've been scheduling some posts for a petite home, which I can't remember if I've actually spoken about it, but I know so many of you went over and followed my new home accounts, or it's not even a new home account, but my home accounts after I did the announcement post on Instagram. And I don't think I've actually spoken about it in a video, but if you are wanting to see all of the home updates, be sure to follow me on a petite home, which is my home account that I am restarting, reigniting. I have tried doing the home account a couple of times in our old properties, but I feel like because of how restricted I was because of the fact that obviously we were renting I just didn't have that much freedom and flexibility whereas this house I have so many plans for it and I'm really excited to reignite my love for interiors with the home account so be sure to follow me over on Instagram also just wanted to say I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions asking about a home tour and I think with this house, not even I think, I know with this house, I'm not planning on doing a full home tour just for like privacy reasons, just for kind of like um, safety reasons. Obviously this is our home, this is where we live, this is our house and also because there's still a lot of boxes around. So it's gonna be very much like room by room that I want to show you because I wanna take my time with it a little bit more. You all keep telling me, be kind with myself. And I know that if I like had a home tour on my mind that I wanted to do, I would literally be like rushing through trying to get things sorted. And sometimes mistakes can be made. Sometimes you like put things in place that you're not really happy with and things don't end up the way that you want them to. So I just really want to make sure that I'm focusing room by room. I'm taking it a little bit slower with regards to the home renovations in this house and just being a bit kinder to myself but um yeah it's been so nice just to spend the morning doing a bit of like interior styling planning some posts for my interiors account i cannot wait to get posting more on there and showing you a bit more of the house i might even have some more sneaky peeks over there you might see things on my home account before you actually see them on youtube so just be sure to follow me over there. Now, although I won't be giving a full house tour, there is another room that I wanted to show you in this video. I've been desperate to show you this room, but I've been waiting for the right pieces to arrive because I know I mentioned it in the day one video, but I do feel like there's a lot that just doesn't work in this house that immediately putting things in, I'm like, nope, that needs to change. That needs to be edited. That needs to be altered. And our living room was actually one of those spaces. And a lot of the pieces that I put in from our old living room, a lot of the decor pieces, I just didn't feel like really worked. One of the biggest things was the color scheme that I had in our living room before. I very much had pops of red and I did love it in our old house. In this house, it just doesn't work. So the second I kind of put these things in, I was like, this needs to change, this needs to be edited. So I wanted to show you the pieces after I had changed them. Now you might be able to notice there's already been a subtle change up here, a new lampshade. I placed a John Lewis order and I found this pleated lampshade at John Lewis and fell in love with it. I actually found out that the red lampshade that was there before, Alex had hated since I literally bought it, but hadn't told me. <laughs> so when I changed it, he was like, thank goodness I hated that red lampshade. I was like, why did you not tell me that when I first bought it? But the stand is from Dan Elm and the shade is from John Lewis. And I'm so happy with how they have turned out. I thought I was gonna go for something really like patterned, really bold, and actually I saw this green lampshade and just fell in love with it. And I knew that is the color scheme that I wanted to be working with. Now we've got a lot of like dark tones. So I feel like the color scheme we're gonna be going for in the living room is very much browns and greens, which I feel like is so cliche. You move to the country and your living room turns green. So cliche, however, I do feel like this house just warrants itself. It's a green house and I absolutely love green tones and browns together. I feel like it just looks so classy and so classic. So I actually have a couple of new pillows because the other update I wanted to do was the red pillows. So we've replaced the red lampshade and I wanted to replace the red pillows. I actually got these from HomeSense maybe about eight months ago and I did love them. But I just felt like it was time for a change. It felt like it was time for something a little bit different. And I really wanted to kind of embrace the style that this house calls for. So this was also a John Lewis order. And the second I saw them, I fell in love with them. I cannot tell you how soft 
these pillows are they are honestly the softest things in the world and of course i fell in love with them because they are laura ashley i feel like laura ashley is just like my soul interior everything i see on laura ashley i just fall in love with and it's stocked at a few different retailers like next john lewis this one i picked up at john lewis and it's the most beautiful floral print cushion now, i don't know if you can see but there's actually wisteria on here which i just think is so special because we used to have wisteria in our old house it's almost feeling like a bit of the old house coming into the new house that kind of like connection of heritage i think is so so lovely and then the back of them is the most beautiful light I don't even want to say sage green, it's like a eucalyptus green. It is stunning. So I love the fact that they're kind of different each side. And I just thought these would be perfect, especially paired with my white William Morris cushions. I got these from M&S. William Morris has done an amazing collection with M&S. I definitely recommend checking it out. So I really love these because they're patterned, but they're not patterned. They're plain, but they're not plain. So I feel like having a statement cushion next to something like that is what works perfectly. Now, I definitely want to get like a nice sagey green or like mossy green throw i think would be really really nice but for now these are all the changes that i wanted to make in the living room i did pick up two of these cushions here so let's add them onto the sofa and then i can give you a proper a proper tour of how the living room is looking oh my goodness i am in love with the Laura Ashley pillows. Are they pillows or are they cushions? I always get it wrong and people get cross at me. I think they're cushions because they're throw, throw pillows or throw cushions. Someone comment down below which one they are because I am getting a little bit confused about how stunning did these look. Oh my goodness me, they're just the most beautiful shade of green. I feel like the lighting in here is very odd because we've obviously got the window right beside us. It's a bit of a dull day, but especially in the evening when you've got the lamps on and you've got the lovely warm light, it just looks so so beautiful in here and i feel like these are just the perfect addition as i said you can use each side if you want to if you want to have more of a green vibe i love how they look next to the william morris cushions i love these as i said they're from mns home they've done a full like collaboration with william morris and they come in so many different colors i really really love the like whitey cream because i feel like it just pairs so perfectly with whatever color you were going for it gives you a bit more freedom with regards to like changing it up um also with regards to the red ones don't worry they won't just be charged like i will be reusing them around the house and if i don't find that they work i'll just be reusing the inserts and i'll get some like new covers for them um but yeah i love these they come in so many different colors they've got blue green pink red but i personally just love how the white looks i feel like it really really works if you're going for a bit more of a neutral vibe and then you can always add your own pop of color but um yeah i love how they look can i ask as well are you a pillow chopper because i love a chopped pillow but a few people say it's like almost a bit overdone now it's a bit old-fashioned i totally disagree i will always be for the pillow chop because i just feel like it looks so lovely it's a comment down below are you for the pillow chop are you someone that just loves a bit more of like a thrown on effect also do we keep this now that we're going into spring we usually only use these um like thick woolen blankets when it's in winter time and as we're heading into spring it might be worth taking that off now um but yeah especially next to the new lampshade oh my goodness me i am obsessed now it was quite an investment i won't lie to you as lampshades go this shade pretty much cost the same as this like entire lamp in itself um but i do love how it looks i feel like sometimes it's worth making the investment because it just it really really pays off so this is a base from Danelm. it came with the lampshade but again i'm going to be reusing that or passing it off to someone else and my favorite thing about this base is the fact that it's like movable is the fact that it's bent so you can kind of like twist it around which i think is perfect if you're like me and you like having it in a corner because it just means that you've got a bit more flexibility with it so i'm really bringing in those pops of greens with the pillows with the flowers with the lampshade and we're going to be able to go further into that as i said i feel like a dark green or even a brown throw would look so so lovely here but yeah a little living room space i'm absolutely obsessed with that i don't know if you can see as well there's a little radiator cover behind there because there is a radiator behind the sofa and we're a bit worried about having the sofa like pushed up against it so it's just nice to have that separation and i might even star that up i'm undecided with what to do with this wall and as i said i don't want to rush anything i don't just want to like chuck a print up there that i'm not 100 percent certain about i might try styling these up putting maybe some flowers some books or something like that behind and making it almost a bit more of a feature it might also be great to put drinks on you know if you're like sitting in the middle of the sofa and this coffee table is quite far away obviously you can't use the side tables just being able to put your drink behind you i think is quite nice these side tables also are not going to be staying i even said that when we were in the old house i was looking to replace them i never really found something quite right and i thought i would just wait till we're in the new property um but yeah they're just like little ikea ones i'd love to get some like vintage oak side tables i think that would
that would look absolutely amazing but it's so so nice to see this space coming together I mean, the brown and the green tones just work so, so well. As I said, I know it's a bit cliche, but when your house calls for it, it just calls for it. So I actually got this new rug from HomeSense. I always would recommend HomeSense for rugs. They're so affordable as well, and they're always really beautiful, really unique. They had so many gorgeous designs, and we really, really loved this one. We wanted to go for a dark brown just to really tie in the brown on the fireplace. We'd love to get like an oak mantle or like a surround. And as I've already said, we also want to do like a full on log burner in there we're gonna have this is a bit of a project this is something that we're really going to look into and invest in because i feel like it would just really add to the space because it's a little bit better especially because we are tv on the wall kind of a people we have quite a big telly it's alex's choice it's something that he's always really really passionate about having a nice big tv that we can um like watch movies on and just like really relax at the end of the day um so we've got the tv on the wall this why it will definitely be going don't you worry we'll be getting rid of that um but yeah with the tv on the wall i feel like it looks a little bit bare so we definitely want to style this up a little bit more um but i have styled up this corner over here which i am in love with again wires will be going give me recommendations as well on how to hide ugly plug sockets and ugly wires because i do struggle a little bit with what exactly i can do with them um but yes i've just added my gorgeous faux flowers which I absolutely love. I was even getting questions from the movers actually about whether these were real because they look so real. They look like they've dried out so beautifully. So I've got my flowers, my little Dunnell lamp and a little basket over there. And I love how this space looks. This console table is from a local brand actually, which I'm so proud to represent because they are a Hampshire brand called Still and Bloom. And I absolutely adore all of their pieces. They just do the most beautiful, unique handmade items. I used to have this in my dressing room. You'll probably recognize it, but I just felt like it worked so well and fitted so beautifully in this space. And then in this corner, I've added the other Dunelm chair. This actually used to be in Alex's office. This was my Ellie Nook in Alex's room, but we've got a different setup going on with his office, which I can't wait to show you. But I love this spot because you can just like look out onto the view. I think it's a really, really lovely spot. I've just added a little vintage side table, actually. I found this at an antiques place and I love how it looks. I've added some books, a little coaster, a little Highland Q coaster, which I really am obsessed with my Highland Qs. I absolutely love them. And I've also added my gorgeous sheepskin onto this ottoman because I feel like the brown just really, really works well. This is the matching ottoman to the sofa from Snug. It is part of the Sunday Cloud collection in the shade Oatmeal, I believe. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've styled up the table just a little bit, added a couple of white company books, added some flowers, which again, we're really embracing those like greeny vibes, greens and whites. I think it's just going to work so, so well. I feel like the only thing this living room is now missing is maybe like a dark green or a brown throw, I think would work so beautifully. Obviously, I can tinker about a little bit, change up the styling of the coffee table. But for now, I am so, so happy with how this space is looking. It really is just the coziest living room that we ever could have asked for. We've always wanted like a bit of a country style living room and I feel like we have finally got it. I literally cannot tell you how cozy this spot is especially in the evening when the lamps are on it's dark outside you just want to like hunker on down this is honestly just my favorite I want to add some like really thick curtains as well I think would be absolutely beautiful just to really like add the cozy vibes to the space I'm all about the cozy vibes and I'm all about those like little details those little touches that I feel like make such a big difference but I'm just obsessed one piece of advice I would also give if you have lots of lamps if you're like us you don't like using the big light a lot of the time you like to have lots of little lamps dotted about smart bulbs and smart plugs they're honestly your best friend because you can either set them up to like Alexa or Google Home whatever you've got or you can just use the app on your phone you can set them on timers you can turn them on and off on your phone it's so handy so every evening we have the set to a timer so we don't have to like think about turning it on we don't have to come all the way over into this corner and switch it on it's already there waiting for us and we've even set it to like a really lovely like warm glow so it is just the coziest thing in the world i am absolutely loving this space i feel like the living room is really really coming together now the perfect place just to hunker down watch films watch any tv shows which speaking of tv shows I have just reignited my love for home shows at the moment. I am such a like home show kind of a gal. I've always loved Homes Under the Hammer. I've always loved like George Clark. But a recent obsession with mine, escaped to the country. Not escaped to the country, escaped. So much better than escaped to the country because it's going back 
to the people that did escape. It shows you the houses they view, like in a more kind of sped up version. And then there's a whole section about what they chose, whether they went for the mystery house, whether they went for something completely different, whether they went for one of the viewings, how the prices work. Like some of them, they're like, oh, we lost out on this house. We did actually put an offer in, but we found something better. It is so interesting to see. And obviously they're all talking about like their new lives in the country, because most of these people have moved from the city out to the country. And as someone who is a big countryside gal, and loves to kind of just shout about how great the country is, particularly the New Forest. I haven't actually seen an episode in the New Forest. That would be really, really interesting if one came up in the New Forest. I can see the kind of like house that someone moved to. It would be so, so cool to see because, you know, how much I adore living here. But escaped to the country absolutely obsessed. Let me know any recommendations of any good home TV shows that you are watching at the moment because, you know... I'm all ears, you know I love these kind of TV shows and I love getting cozy and I love getting all the inspiration for our new house because I just feel like there's so much to do and I'm so excited to do it, but I wanna do it slowly. I wanna do it in a really enjoyable way, but um, yeah, just loving the cozy vibes, loving the new cushions, loving the new lamp. I feel like it is all coming together. Be honest with me, is there anything better than heading to the fridge for lunch, thinking about what you're gonna make yourself and then realizing that you have leftovers the chicken that alex suggested the chicken and rice it was like an egg fried rice like a kind of, kind of oriental stuff oh it was just amazing he doesn't even have a name for it he doesn't have a recipe he just makes it up on the spot but he's such a good chef and i'm gonna have this for my lunch and there is nothing better i honestly think often things like this taste better the next day when you're having them for leftovers for lunch i am a happy bunny right now <laughs> so i've just had my lunch and i can confirm it was even better today than it was last night but i've had a rather exciting new pr parcel that i wanted to unbox with you guys because i feel like you're going to be just as excited about this brand as i am it's a new brand that i discovered on instagram they actually got in touch and i feel like this is such an innovative brand like this is such a clever idea and i'm almost like mad that i didn't think of it myself so the brand is called sleevey which i have to say when you discover what the brand is, I feel like that's just an absolutely ingenious name. Now what Sleevey creates is basically an idea that I feel like if you're like me and you're a sleever roller upper, it's going to be an absolute game changer for you. So they do these tiny little bands that go on your arms to help you roll up your sleeves. If you know me, I am constantly rolling up my sleeves. I hate them being in my way. If you're having like lunch, if you're having dinner, if you're like typing, I hate it when my sleeves that like come over my arms when I'm typing, I'm always pushing them up they always end up falling down. If you're like a blazer wearer, if you're like a jacket wearer, I feel like these are going to be so game changing for you. I mean, look at how beautiful they are. They are the most beautiful like silk. They almost look like scrunchies, but not. Now I know a lot of people that use like hair bands or elastic bands. I've tried that, but the problem with those is that obviously they're not designed to go on your wrists. And I do find they kind of cut off the blood supply. So you basically just pop it like now. Now the idea is that you can kind of like roll your sleeve over so you wouldn't really see it. So you kind of just wear it like this. So you would have no idea that that is on your sleeve. And if you're someone who loves an oversized blazer and you love being able to roll up the sleeves, this is honestly going to change your life. I am so obsessed. Now I've got a couple of different colors depending on what I'm wearing, but obviously, cause I've got white on today. Let me try and get this over the, the jumper dress. Cause I hate it when that like sticks out at the end, but especially with like chunky cardigans or like chunky knits, I find it really overwhelming when they kind of like come up too high over my wrists. And that is honestly, like completely hidden. You have no idea that I've got that on. That is amazing. They're not too tight either. I believe they do different sizes if I remember correctly. I will leave them linked down below. I'll leave her Instagram as well as the website because I just think they're absolutely genius. I mean, I honestly wish I'd thought of that. I think that's so, so clever. So she's very kindly sent me over a few different options. I've obviously got the white on here. We've got another white kind of creamy color. And this is also a little set that comes with a scrunchie. How cute is that? I do love a silk scrunchie. I literally won't put anything else in my hair. I think this might be a bigger size. Yeah, that feels a bit bigger. So if you want to kind of like put it higher up your arm, I feel like that is going to be so, so perfect for so many of my jackets, so many coats and things like that. Then we also have black. So obviously if you're just going to be wearing like a black blazer, anything like really classic like that, you'll want to have the black one. I feel like getting two, a creamy colored and a black is just going to like cover you for all of your bases. So thank you so much for sending those over, Sleevey. I am obsessed. I'll leave them linked down below because I honestly think that is just an absolute game changer. Well, the sun has most definitely set now. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear, but 
the birds are chirping away in the garden. It's my favorite thing to listen to at this time of the evening, all throughout golden hour and all throughout dusk. You just hear the birds chirping away, but the blinds are closed, the lamps are on, and the living room is just coming alive. I feel like at this time of the day, or at least at this time of the night, is when this living room really comes into its own. It's very much an evening room, in my opinion. I feel like we're gonna be using our living space so differently to how we did in the old house. It's gonna be all the cozy vibes, the ambiance is ambiancing, if I do say so myself. And I just wanted to show you how it is looking at this time of night, because I just love how it looks. I love the lamp. I just think it is the coziest thing in the world. And the cushions are just my absolute favorite addition. I'm definitely thinking I need to say goodbye to my little fur throw. I would love to get something similar to our sheepskin rug, actually, but in like a full throw, like a really dark brown, I think would look beautiful. Who actually remembers where we got this from? got this in the Isle of Skye when we got engaged, which I just absolutely love. So I love that there. I feel like it really ties in well with the brown in the blinds. As I've said, I would love to get curtains because I think that would just add to the cozy vibes even more. But I just feel like having lamps on, it's the easiest way to just bring in the coziness. We are not a main light kind of a household. We are a lamp kind of a household. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the living room in all of its glory at this time of the evening because that is when the space just really comes into its own. And I feel like you can really see my vision now. I feel like the vibes are vibing. The ambiance is ambianting. The coziness is cozy and it makes me so, so happy. So yeah, I'm gonna go stick dinner on. Alex should be home any minute now. And then we're probably going to spend the rest of the evening right here watching Downton Abbey. Because that is our favourite thing to do at the moment. It's our favourite show to watch, to unwind and try and distract ourselves from all of the house renovation projects. So I'm going to leave this vlog here. If you got to the end of this video, comment below. Wisteria for my gorgeous new Wisteria cushions. Because I always love knowing who gets to the end of these videos. And I feel like this has been a long one. This has been a hefty video with a lot of updates. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the updates. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.